I've not seen such bravery. A new year means new games, and this year looks like it could really bring some good ones. Now some people have been asking me what my most anticipated games are for 2015, so I decided to make a list. There are a lot of good ones out there, so it was kind of difficult to narrow it down to five, but here they are, my top five most anticipated games of 2015. Oh, how I tried to resist putting this game on my list. This is one of those series that I just don't see myself loving like I used to. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 are such great games, and the first one was a good-sized part of my childhood. And one of the things I liked most about these games were the visuals, which is one of the reasons that I passed on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. But man, were these games good. They had everything you could ever want in a tycoon game. Building roller coasters, decorating your park, picking up trash, killing killing innocent people, puking, killing more innocent people, killing people, managing bank loans, managing bank loans while killing people. If these games don't make you feel like Walt Disney World himself, then I don't know what will. Roller Coaster Tycoon World does not return to the pixely, isometric graphics that I love so much, but I got the opportunity to see some work-in-progress gameplay and talk to some of the developers while I was at PAX Prime last year, and it really got me excited. There's not a lot of video out there for me to show off, but I'll just say that I'm pretty excited to finally play the game. I'm particularly excited about the new building controls that look to be a large improvement over previous installments. There are also fun additions like your staff behaving differently based on how much you pay them so disgruntled janitors might not work as hard as the ones that are better paid. That, along with some other neat stuff that I saw, makes me really hope that this one is a big hit. Roller Coaster Tycoon World is slated to let you start building your mechanical theme park death traps in early 2015. It's a lot to take in, kid. Where do I even start? This is probably my most obvious and safe choice for most anticipated game. I love the Uncharted series, and Uncharted 4 looks like it's gonna be the game that finally convinces me to pick up a PS4. It's weird how that changes, isn't it? I used to be super excited when I planned to get a new console, but now I'm just like, damn you Sony, you finally got me. Uncharted was the first game I owned on the PS3, but it was Uncharted 2 and 3 that really blew me away. I loved the story, the characters, and the gameplay. I loved it all. Well, except for a certain train segment. The E3 gameplay of Uncharted 4 seemed to draw some mixed reactions from what I could tell. I saw a lot of people complaining about the graphics, but <laughs> I don't know, this looks pretty good to me. I'm not totally sure I get what all the complaints are about. Now, as far as story or other new gameplay mechanics, I'm gonna try and keep my distance from the information on Uncharted Uncharted 4 as the release draws near. I don't really want to know more than I already know, and I don't actually know that much. I guess I just trust Naughty Dog to make a good game. Unfortunately, that means my wallet is going to have to take a hit once it finally comes out. I mean, PS4s aren't cheap. Uncharted 4 will have you shooting, climbing, and Indiana Jonesing once again in 2015, with some people speculating a fall release. Had you asked me how excited I was for The Witness a year ago, I would have been much more enthusiastic about it. The game was announced in, what, 2009? I suppose I've just already gone through the ups of anticipation and am currently on the way down. Nevertheless, I am still very much looking forward to playing The Witness, an upcoming game by Jonathan Blow. Taking a few pages from the Book of Mist, pun intended, you play as a nameless character who suddenly finds themselves on a mysterious island filled with both natural and man-made structures and a slew of puzzles to solve. Now I've enjoyed games, movies, and stories that take place in one specific place, like an island. And the fact that this game is an obvious nod to my favorite game franchise definitely makes me want to play it. It doesn't hurt that the art style and graphics look incredible as well. But the biggest problem I have with The Witness is just how long I've known about it and how much of it is being shared. It's kind of like what happened with the new Smash Brothers. You end up watching and reading so much about an upcoming game that when you finally get it, it almost feels like you played it already. The Witness hasn't done this as badly as Smash did, but it's definitely a me. I've already seen so many screenshots of the island that the element of discovery isn't gonna be all it could have been. Regardless, I'm still pretty excited to explore the beautiful, bloom-filled island of The Witness. The Witness has a puzzling release window of just 2015. Come on, man, it's been years and you can't give me a hint of anything more specific? Ah, <sighs> fine, fine, I'll be patient. So 
So I'm sure some of you thought I was joking, crazy, or possibly both when I talked about how much I loved Euro Truck Simulator 2, but let me assure you that this is no joke. The game continues to crawl up my most played Steam games list, and I'm still just as invested as I was when I started. American Truck Simulator is SES Software's latest simulation game, and it's adding familiar vistas, new trucks, and new features like wait stations. <laughs> Now this isn't exactly the most exciting kind of game to talk about, but I undoubtedly have an unexplainable addiction to driving and parking virtual trucks. If there's one thing about Euro Truck Simulator 2 that I'm not too fond of, it's the areas where you have to drive on the left side of the road like a crazy person. I understand that it just comes with a territory, but I am incredibly bad at it and usually just avoid those routes altogether. Alpha footage of the game was recently released and it only got me more excited. It seems like it would be hard for developers to mess this one up, so American Truck Simulator is pretty much a lock for me. I look forward to spending way too many hours driving and parking. So far there's no word on if SES Software plans to add things like picking up prostitutes or doing some coke in a truck stop bathroom, but at the very least I think we could hope for something like that in a DLC release. According to Excalibur Publishing, American Truck Simulator will have you shipping goods on August 10th, 2015. We're almost to number one, but uh, there's still some games that I want to mention that didn't quite make the top five. So really quick, here are a few honorable mentions. Night in the Woods, a story-driven adventure game that looks way too cute for its own good. If a game's greatness could be judged solely on its use of color palettes, I'd say Night in the Woods could have a great shot at Game of the Year. Cuphead, a 2D run-and-gun game styled to look like cartoons from the 1930s. Although admittedly, I think I'm more excited to look at this game than I am to play it. Anyone want to come over and just let me watch you beat it? Rainbow Six Siege, a team-based first-person shooter that looks like it will be a blast to play with friends. In a game that relies so heavily on cooperation, though, you can bet that there's gonna be that one guy on the team that wants to mess around more than he actually wants to complete a mission. And you can bet that that guy will be me. MLB 15 The Show, the best baseball video game franchise aims to continue their dominance, and I'm ready to see how nice it will end up looking on the PS4. Last but not least, Star Fox U, a new Star Fox game that's currently shrouded in mystery. I'm pretty skeptical of this one, but I'm hoping for greatness. Let me repeat that, I'm hoping for greatness. Not expecting, hoping. Now these aren't all of the games I'm excited for, these are just the ones that were closest to making it into the top five. So that just leaves my number one pick, which is... This is the game that ultimately made me less excited about The Witness. Why settle for a game inspired by Myst when I can get a spiritual successor to the franchise from the original developers? Anyone who is following me during Cyan's Kickstarter campaign knows that I am beyond excited for this game. There's so many aspects of this adventure puzzle game that I'm excited about that it's hard to choose what to talk about. Following a familiar introduction, Abduction drops you off in an unfamiliar land and it's up to you to figure out why you're there. Thankfully, Cyan has been keeping a lot of the game under wraps, because the less I know about it the better, but if the information was out there I'd be too curious to not look. The game is slated for a late 2015 release, but because of the size of the project I wouldn't be surprised for it to get pushed back, which would be completely fine with me. You see, Abduction met its stretch goal to get Oculus Rift support, and I'd really love to have that option available on its release. It's gonna be amazing to be completely immersed in the world that Cyan is building, but if the Rift isn't available when the game drops, there's no way I'm waiting to play it. But one problem with all this is that my hopes are very, very high for abduction. Possibly a little unreasonably high, and there's no guarantee that it's going to be good. The good news is that the team, specifically Rand Miller, sound incredibly passionate about their new venture, and abduction doesn't seem to be something that's just going to be tossed together. Best of luck, Cyan. I've got high hopes and a lot of faith in you. I can't wait to get immersed in a brand new world filled with stories to uncover and puzzles to solve. I mean, really though, I just never expected Cyan to make a new game, so no matter how this one turns out, it's a pretty awesome thing to happen. Abduction will be whisking you away to a new world in late 2015 if the developer's current projection holds true.
Well, you've seen my most anticipated games for this year, so why not tell me yours? Leave a comment telling me what games you're most looking forward to in 2015, and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Also, feel free to check out my previous list, a top 10 about edutainment games featuring the one and only MatPat.